I don't <laughs> go first ball you scored. Uh, um, it was huge for us, I think, today, especially the second period. Um, we knew we uh, we screwed up against the Dallas uh, in the in the Dallas game, and I think we came up big in the second. Um, I think they had a lot of shots, but a lot was on the outside, and it was huge um, just to get that win tonight. Um, I think it just keeps us in the race, and obviously gives ourselves a, a little bit of confidence here. Um, yeah, I saw Cat on the far side and wanted to uh, just get the puck over there and then hit a stick and I just saw the puck floating in. It was pretty lucky, and um, but a goal is a goal in the end of the day and obviously I'm really happy with it. Uh, I mean, obviously, the the way we came out in the in the second period against Dallas was was not how we want to play as a team. So, um, you know, I think just the mentality throughout the the entire game was that we we had to show up and um, play with pace, play with play with confidence. And um, you know, I think uh, you know, obviously, a, a shout out tonight, and um, you know, something to to build off of. For sure. I mean, we we don't want to give up three, four, five, or six in in uh, in, a, in any game. I mean, we're not doing that on purpose, but I think that was been kind of the message in the last two, three weeks. Uh, it's two or less, and I think we're doing a really good job of containing people, um, being harder around our own net, and um, boys are boys are getting in front of uh, in in front of pucks. Alex is playing is playing great, and obviously. Um, that's a big, big statement for us. Um, is that two or less? He's been huge. You know, he's been playing a lot of games, but just the way he approaches the game, um, and he's kept us in a lot of games. So uh, obviously, it's 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 nice to have that in the back. And um, you know, I feel like he he he's come up big for us in, in a lot of games, and tonight, obviously, a, a shout out for him is 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 huge and happy for him. So, um, you know, he's bailed us out a couple of times. So I think that's a, that's a big thing too that we we want to take care of, help him, and make it as easy as possible for him. All right, you talked uh, recently about how in the first half you felt like there were some games you should have won that you, the team let get away. Is this tonight kind of an example of a game that if you want to make a playoffs, you have to win these games? Correct. Um, these are the kind of meaningful games um, we want to play, we want to be in, and we want to battle hard. And I think today was a great example of that. Um, I think today was a, a really successful day for us. We played a really solid team, and um, we shut him down defensively. And I think we could uh, hopefully remember that in the long run, um, hopefully pushing for, for that playoff spot. Um, yeah, we. I think we came together as a team and and have a have a big front runner in Klim there. Um, I think he's he's not scared of anyone in this league, and he uh, I think um, gave our, gave ourselves a boost a little bit in that in that game today. Um, and yeah, he uh, he told us we shouldn't be scared of of anyone out there, and I think that's a that's a great message we should take uh, take forward. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't like um, yelling at other guys or um, talking too much. Um, I want to concentrate on my game, and um, felt like I didn't do much there on on both hits. And um, obviously, that's frustrating putting the guys on the PK. Um, but overall, yeah, I just tried to approach it easy and don't want to get away from my game. Uh, 
Um, yeah, obviously, uh, obviously a big player for us. Um, you know the way he plays, plays both ends, and um, it's huge for us on the on the on the PK. And uh, you know that line has been has been really good for us lately. And um, yeah, you know it's a big milestone, and uh, not a lot of players in this league achieve that. So happy for him, and uh, just trying to keep building off of that. <coughs> okay, bye. Uh, the zero, um, you know, obviously a shutout against that team. Um, in a moment like this, you know, these games are becoming increasingly bigger uh, as we get towards the second half, especially these teams that we're kind of neck and neck with. So love the fact that uh, we pitched a shutout here uh, and it felt like a good team shutout. Very important, and obviously he's going to get a top matchup. Uh, the Frost line has been just hot, terrorizing of late. Uh, their expected goals the last three, four, five games went off the chart. So that was a very tough matchup, and they won it tonight. So that's a positive, and I loved the simple goal. Um, you know, after the first, we had a lot of possession time, but we just, we just. I'd like to get more pucks to the net, kind of create some havoc. And that's exactly what that goal happened. Took three shot attempts to the net, and all of a sudden it's on Lark stick on the back door, and we find ourselves up. Eric, expanding on the, the zero, um, uh, Morris was saying that there's been sort of a concentration on getting two or fewer goals. Yep. And you looked at the last four games, the road games, two goals against uh, Toronto and Florida, and then one goal against Tampa, now this. I mean, do you think sort of just yeah, I don't know if a rival, but it's been on our guys. It's been an effort. Obviously, it was pretty obvious if we wanted to push, have any kind of success whatsoever, uh, we had to cut down our goals again. So, again, I think some practice time, but I think a little mentality from the group taking some pride in it. Um, and it's been successful of late. Yeah, yeah, great observation of that. Different matchups create different problems, and we've struggled a little bit with real heavy. Um, it's just our makeup. And I thought our pushback um, was great tonight, um, great on Klim. It just it really energized our group, uh, energized him. It's just sometimes you have to do that. Uh, and I thought it was the right opportunity you know, for Klim to do that, and uh, that goes a long ways. Yeah, of course. I mean, just I, probably, you know, the message into the Tampa game, um, this push we've had of late uh, has earned you guys important games towards the second half of the season. And we're going to have to learn to get comfortable in them. And, you know, we're in the midst of it now. And I thought uh, we handled it fairly well tonight. Uh, yeah, of course. Today's NHL, two goals is nothing. Three goals is usually nothing. That's why I'm excited about how we handled things in the third. But, of course, there's a huge momentum goal. Uh, they go on the power play. Um, obviously, three nothing is a lot different than 2-1. But I thought we did a pretty good job of managing our last nine minutes going into the third period, the end of the second. And we got in it. We got to it um, up 3 nothing, and again, probably one of the better third period, first five, six, seven minutes start we had. You know, didn't get a chance, uh, which is a positive. Well, it's the block. Um, obviously, that's probably uplifting for their group. And I'd even add to that, we hit the crossbar where we cleanly beat the goalie. It's that's a goal. Uh, we had perfect. Took the goalie's eyes away. He just got a little unlucky. Um, so, but I think it's good on our guys to hang in there and, and continue just to manage our game. So, again, huge win. Um, that is a good win in the fact that that team's going to be there in the end. We're going to be fighting neck to neck with them. Um, they're too well constructed. They're too well coached. 
So this was our last opportunity head head to head with them, and it was just a really positive win for us. Yeah, maybe that, but uh, we it's just more concerned about not giving them easy offense. Our first power play in the period, the third, you could tell they're leaning, they're cheating, uh, they're trying to get a shorty, and we just we haven't handled those situations great this year. So I thought a little bit better step in our maturity there. Yes. I don't know. It's a good question. I, I don't know. You go through different stretches. Again, we just we have so much DNA. It's it's tough to watch some chances back between periods because literally, it just if you watch our guys, four guys just lean and hope. I call it anticipation. Uh, a little older school coach might call it cheating, um, but it's we we just we still got to continue to learn how to manage our game. It's just the mentality that. You know, they they think the fourth goal is going to ice it, when in reality, not giving them the first goal is going to ice it. I mean, the last shift of the second period, you know, we had an offensive zone blue line turnover, and then with 20 seconds left, we had three forwards below the offensive goal line, and we tried to blindly shovel it to the net to give them an odd man situation. That's just, it's just painful lessons we got to learn if we're going to continue to grow. Huge, one hundred percent. Quiet, quiet. Like he, he gets a whistle. Uh, he doesn't give up a rebound. He, he makes a proper play of a puck handle. Uh, that's been him uh, for us. He takes away some of the chaos. And again, not a huge volume night for him, but I thought he managed it very well and he got what he deserved. Um, obviously, shut up. We thought it was um, Tangs is God. Tangs is God. That's what I, of course you hear. I mean, it's uh, a couple of Lions are back in the room. The Michigan guys are back in the room. Um, it's the energy, the excitement, uh, a fan myself. It's been unbelievable to watch. Of course, you can feel the energy, and it's, it's awesome. This is an unbelievable time in Detroit. I'm glad we're pitching, a l pitching in a little bit, playing at a really high level. Uh, but how can you not be energized? This is this is flat out amazing, goose pump amazing. Um, it's it's awesome. All right, nice, yeah.